introduce first. Oh yeah. Totally forgot. So sorry. <laughs> sorry, I slow reader. I didn't see. <laughs> Hey so that only goes to show early detection is very important because not only that it saves lives, it also saves breasts. So in my case, how I was diagnosed with breast cancer because I went for mammogram. And uh, within the course of three years, after the third year of mammogram, I discovered that uh, I had very early stage. So women out there, please do your due diligence. When I was working out in the gym with my trainer, halfway through, I kind of thought that my lungs weren't cooperating. So um, I called my doctor up, I went in for a lung CT scan and I'm very very blessed and very lucky that the radiologist said there's something on my left chest and to get it checked out. I think in the span of one week I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I have zero breast cancer history so there's a lot of things that people say out there that oh you have a breast cancer gene you surely will have it. However there was like just zero cancer history in my family. When my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer it affected me a lot, a lot. A lot until today. In the 2005-2006, okay, uh, my wife started to complain about aching pain here, pain there. Okay, just tell her, you just go for GP la, right? Until somebody, her friend, not my friend, her friend, talked something about breast cancer. Gotta go for a checkup. Okay, and it was too late. And two oncology had given her two and a half years. When I hear the news, okay, really I didn't cry. I'm doing nothing on breast cancer, just chop it off. Huh? No problem, I can go so. That, that simple, that naive. That, that, that naive. Alright, yeah, but uh, it's not to what I expect. Uh, I live life to the fullest. Um, I used to be a people pleaser, right? but now it's like, I think I would say all hell broke loose lah, okay? Good. But like, I was really able to be 100% me. Um, I always thought that femininity was all tied to my long hair. My hair was really long, like past my chest, right? Yeah, really very long, you know? Yeah, it really was. I used to be spending like a thousand dollars coloring, you know, and then the balayage. And I thought that represented beauty as well. So I think I realized that beauty doesn't, it's not about the physicality of how you look or how long your hair is or maybe how real your boots are because like, mine one fit one real um, but I think beauty is something inside <laughs> Spend time with your friends yes, us. your family your relatives you don't know or you will never know what happened to them and yourself yes. Last time uh, we were like hell you know but now we know that lifestyle is very important. We must we must know how to enjoy our life, you know, not my machine. For us cancer patients now, I think waking up every morning is a bonus actually. Mm -hmm. And actually my the motto of uh, in life is also live life to the fullest. So right now I do things which I enjoy, right? So uh, I dance. I exercise, so I do all the things that I like, and even playing mahjong. Right? Okay, not in that order, but uh, you know, all these deep three things I enjoy very much. Yeah, so don't wait till it's too late. Mm. Uh,